1 Samuel Chapter 23 Then they told David, saying, Behold, the Philistines fight against Kala, and they rob the threshing floors. Therefore David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go and smite these Philistines? And the Lord said unto David, Go, and smite the Philistines, and save Kala. And David's men said unto him, Behold, we be afraid here in Judah. How much more then, if we come to Kalah against the armies of the Philistines? Then David inquired of the Lord yet again. And the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Kalah, for I will deliver the Philistines into thine hand. So David and his men went to Kalah, and fought with the Philistines, and brought away their cattle, and smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved the inhabitants of Kalah. And it came to pass, when Abiathar the son of Ahimelech fled to David to Kalah, that he came down with an ephod in his hand. And it was told Saul, that David was come to Kalah. And Saul said, God hath delivered him into mine hand, for he is shut in, by entering into a town, that hath gates and bars. And Saul called all the people together to war, to go down to Kalah, to besiege David and his men. And David knew that Saul secretly practiced mischief against him, and he said to Abiath the priest, Bring hither the ephod. Then said David, O Lord God of Israel, thy servant hath certainly heard that Saul seeketh to come to Kalah, to destroy the city for my sake. Will the men of Kalah deliver me up into his hand? Will Saul come down, as thy servant hath heard? O Lord God of Israel, I beseech thee, tell thy servant. And the Lord said, He will come down. Then said David, Will the men of Gala deliver me, and my men into the hand of Saul? And the Lord said, They will deliver thee up. Then David and his men, which were about six hundred, arose and departed out of Gala, and went whithersoever they could go. And it was told Saul, that David was escaped from Gala, and he forbore to go forth. And David abode in the wilderness in strongholds, and remained in a mountain in the wilderness as if. And Saul sought him every day, but God delivered him not into his hand. And David saw that Saul was come out to seek his life. And David was in the wilderness as if in a wood. And Jonathan Saul's son arose, and went to David into the wood, and strengthened his hand in God. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel and I shall be next unto thee, and that also Saul my father knoweth. And they two made a covenant before the Lord. And David abode in the wood, and Jonathan went to his house. Then came up the Ziphites to Saul to Gibeah, saying, Doth not David hide himself with us in strongholds in the wood, in the hill of Hachilah, which is on the south of Jeshimon? Now therefore, O king, come down according to all the desire of thy soul to come down, and our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Saul said, Blessed be ye of the Lord, for ye have compassion on me. Go, I pray you, prepare yet, and know and see his place where his haunt is, and who hath seen him there. For it is told me, that he dealeth very subtilly. See therefore, and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hideth himself, and come ye again to me with the certainty, and I will go with you. And it shall come to pass, if he be in the land, that I will search him out throughout all the thousands of Judah. And there rose, and went as if before Saul. But David and his men were in the wilderness of men, in the plain on the south of Jeshimon. Saul also and his men went to seek him. And they told David. Wherefore he came down into a rock, and abode in the wilderness of men. And when Saul heard that, he pursued after David in the wilderness of men. And Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made the haste, to get away for fear of Saul. For Saul and his men compassed David, and his men round about to take them. But there came a messenger run to Saul, saying, Haste thee, and come, for the Philistines have invaded the land. Wherefore Saul returned from pursuing after David, and went against the Philistines. Therefore they called that place Salahamalekath. And David went up from thence, and dwelt in strongholds at Injedi.